So how do you make a save game in Project Spark? Now this is something that can actually be pretty tricky, but we're going to go through the basics of it and explain sort of how you can take it the next step. So the idea is you have a larger game in Project Spark and you want the player to be able to save their progress and come back to it at some point. Now you can actually do that by using something called a campaign tile that we have available for you. So we're going to jump into the brain of our main character right here and show a simple test of how this works. First thing we want to do is we want to set something that we're actually going to be saving with our save state. Now that's the most important thing. The thing that takes the most amount of time is you need to actually be able to set all of the, of the different variables inside a Project Spark that you want to be able to save when a player chooses to save their game. So here we're going to be saving a number of variables. So on the do side we're going to go over to world properties. We're going to go over a page to campaign and we're going to see this tile called campaign. This campaign tile works similar to the global tile except a campaign variable is something that continues on as long as you're in the same campaign in this creation. So we're going to say do campaign now we're going to set a number variable and we're going to call this just simply button presses and I realize I said new number instead of new number variable so let's say button presses and we're just going to say that this increases by one every time you press on the right trigger. And now let's go ahead and just display this as well. So we're going to display campaign button press at screen top right in extra large font. So right now it's set at zero. Every variable starts at just zero. And I'm hitting right trigger and that is going up. So now I want to be able to save this so that when I come back to the world, this number is at the same number that I left it. In order to do that, we can use some level linking. So I'm going to say, just for example right here, when left trigger is pressed, then I go back over to the world properties tile, go to campaign, and I'm going to say go to world, go back to world properties, go to campaign again, and I'm going to say current world. And now this kind of tracks what world you're on. And all you need to do in order to have content saved inside of uh, whatever creation you're making in Project Spark is doing some level linking. And that's what this is doing. It's linking back to itself. So this world actually links back to itself, but that's really important in saving this content because as it's reloading the level it's also saving all of that campaign variable content. So let's jump back into test mode. Now let's increase this number up to five. So we've increased it to five. Now I'm going to hit left trigger and I am going to reload my world and when I start my world it's still at five instead of zero. So I'm going to bring this up to, let's just say, 15. I'm going to reload my world again. And when it starts again, you'll see that it's at 15. So by using the campaign tile, we can go in and decide what is going to be saved when I do level linking. So you have kind of two things that need to happen when you want to save content for a player to come back and kind of pick up where they left off. You need to set all of the, the different things that you want to save by using this campaign tile. So put this campaign tile before any variable and the campaign plus variable is going to equal the thing that you are then saving. The second piece of the puzzle is you need to do some level linking. So you need to go to the current world or maybe you have multiple worlds in your creation wherever you're going as long as you're doing some sort of level linking that loading screen is the time where it saves all the content so a player can then leave and when they come back to that creation they're gonna get a prompt to say to load their current game or to start a new game 
So that's just a quick example of how you can use the campaign tile as well as some level linking to save progress of your player. Project Spark is where players create and creators play. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? This will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?